Welcome back to Latadidi. It's been a long time since my last video a few months ago. And now it's time to answer some of the questions from you guys in the previous video. So this is a subscriber request, where I will make a video for my subscribers. There have been several requests regarding this short video. Several people asked me to make a long version of this video, and for beginners I think this is indeed very difficult to follow. I don't know the exact name of this shape but it looks like flower petals, mandala, or lotus flower, or whatever you call it. So let's just jump into Illustrator. Create a document with a size of 1920 by 1080 pixels with RGB color mode. I think I will create the background first. Open the Layers panel. Or you can open it in the Window menu. And Layers. Double click on the text layer 1 to change its name to background. On the artboard, create a rectangle by using the rectangle tool. Make according to the size of the artboard. On the toolbar, in the fill and stroke section, remove the stroke color by first left clicking the stroke box, then left clicking the none button below it. After that, double click on the fill box to open the color picker panel. You are free to choose any color here as you wish, for this tutorial I chose blue. Now go back to the layers panel. Lock this background layer by left click the empty box in this section to activate the lock icon. Create a new layer by click the create new layer. Double click on this new layer, and name it flower, or whatever you want. And now it's time to create the flower petals, mandala, or lotus flower or whatever you call it. First we gonna create the petal by taking the shape of the intersect of two circles. But before we draw the circle, I want to reset the fill and stroke colors to their default black and white. This makes it easier for us to identify each shape that will be formed. Just click this button right here to reset. First, create a circle using the ellipse tool. Once activated, start drawing a circle on the artboard. Press shift on the keyboard to create a perfect circle. Duplicate this circle by pressing the Alt key on the keyboard if you are using Windows, or the Option key if you are using a Mac. You just need to click and drag like this. Position the second circle next to the first circle so that they touch each other like this, on that way we will get a new shape formed from the intersect of these two circles. You can see it if you select them, this intersect is what we will need as the basic shape to make the flower petals, we can remove this outer part and leave the intersect part. There are two ways to do this kind of task. The first, by using the Pathfinder tool, and select Intersect. The second way is to use the Shape Builder tool in the toolbar. Its function is almost the same as Pathfinder, but the way to use it is very different and manually, so we are possible to create a free shape only with this tool. In general, there are two functions of this tool, the first is to click and drag the shape that you want to merge, and the second is to press the Alt key in Windows, or Options on a Mac, while clicking or dragging the object you want to delete. Just like that. Now we have got the intersect shape of these two circles. Next, we're going to rotate this leaf-like shape 360 degree with the center of rotation at the bottom of the leaf. So for such a task, Illustrator has three tools to do the task. The first by using the Transform tool. You can find it in the Effect menu. Distort and Transform. Transform. The first thing we have to do on this panel is to define the center of rotation in this section. If you pay attention to this section, it is like a bounding box, and in the middle of this bounding box there is a white box which indicates that the center of rotation, if we select the middle box on the bottom side, then the center point of the object will change according to the position we specify. After that, change the angle to 30 degrees. Then copies 11. You can check the preview if you want to see the results. Click OK when finished. The second way to duplicate this shape in rotation is to use the repeat command, you can find it in the object menu. Repeat. And radial. But you need to know that this repeat command is only available in the latest version of Illustrator CC. You can skip this method if you have an older version. Once applied, this shape will be duplicated automatically and we will get three widgets. The first is the pie widget, but for this tutorial we don't need to touch it. The second widget is to determine the number of copies, by clicking and dragging up to increase the number of copies, or dragging down to reduce the number of copies. And the widget at the top is to adjust the distance between objects. 
With this repeat command, we will get the same result with the transform effect. And the third way to do this kind of task is to use the rotate tool on the toolbar. After activating this tool, we must determine the center point of the rotation first, which is at the bottom end of this shape. And as you can see that the center point of the rotation is now right at the center of the shape, which is marked with a blue plus sign. Which means, if we rotate it now then we won't get the same result from the previous two ways. So, we have to move it to the bottom end, by left click the position we want, while pressing the alternative or option button. Press and hold alt key or option key then left click. That's a quick way to move the center point while opening the rotate panel. As before we will duplicate this shape 12 times, but we don't know the right angle to duplicate it in 360 degrees. So we just need to input the number of angles of a circle, which is 360. After that, we divide it by 12. So just type slash, and the number of copies, which is 12. After that, click copy. As you can see here, this shape is not automatically duplicated 12 times. We still need one more command to complete this task, namely the transform again command. Go to the object menu. Transform. Transform again. You have to repeat this step until this shape is fully duplicated. For a quick way, you can use a shortcut to speed up the process, Ctrl or Command plus D on the keyboard. Repeat several times until this shape is duplicated 12 times. And again we get the same result as before. You can choose one of the three methods that you think is easier for you to use. But keep in mind that these three methods, actually have different functions specifically depending on your needs. Now we can move on to the next step, which is to divide these 12 shapes into several parts. Select all these shapes. After that, go to the object menu. Path. Offset path. The offset fill is about 15 pixels, you can make it more if you want wider spacing between shapes. Next, we will delete some parts of the resulting intersect of all these objects. Just like before, we will use the shape builder tool. Select all objects first. I think you already know the basic use of this tool. Press the Alt or Option key on the keyboard to delete. Release if you want to merge objects. Ok let's get started. While pressing the alternative or option keys on the keyboard, start selecting the parts you want to delete. I start with the outermost part first. Just click and drag the part you want to delete. Next, we just delete the deepest part. But first, I want to zoom it a little bit to make it look more detailed. While keeping the Alt or Option key pressed, you can continue to select the section you want to delete. Do this process until it's finished, you have to be patient to make the selection at this step, because this requires accuracy. As you can see here, there are a lot of small shapes that we need to select, and avoid selecting other objects, because they will be deleted. You can use the shortcut Ctrl plus Z, or Command plus Z to undo. When you are done, and get a result like this, zoom in again, to clean up the smallest unneeded parts. You can also use the selection tool to select these parts, then delete them manually. Ok, now we still need to delete some more parts, and keep using the shape builder tool. When you are done, and all these shapes are still selected, then open the Pathfinder in the Window menu. And in the Pathfinder panel, select Unite. And we're done perfectly. Next, we just need to add an outline. Go to the Object menu. Path. Offset Path. Fill in the offset with the same number as before, and click OK. In the Pathfinder panel, click the Unite again. And finally, remove the fill color, and leave the stroke color. Then increase the stroke weight to 5 points. I hope this video can answer your questions about my previous short video. And I hope you can create flower petals like this using some of the methods I have shown in this video. 
Don't forget to subscribe to this channel, because I still have a lot of things that I want to show you about Adobe Illustrator. If this tutorial is very helpful, don't hesitate to give a like, and if you have any questions, feel free to ask me in the comments. See you in the next tutorial.